So as always we got plenty more leaks when it comes to the Apple iPhone 12. We got news of insane new cameras, incredible displays, and even use of new variants of the iPhone 12. That could be much cheaper than we expected. Before we get started though, please like the video. If you're a fan of Apple and let me know in the comments how cheap you think the lowest variant is going to be, what model of the iPhone 12 or do you want the most? The first use of today is of course the super cheap Apple iPhone 12. This is because of this apparently can be tomorrow variants that are 4G LTE only news comes from America leaks and a few other sources. They claim the 5.4 inch 12 if you start at just $549 and the iPhone 12 Max 4G version starting at $649. It's important to note that this they don't really need to compete with themselves. But next that we got news of an incredible display on the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This news comes from Ice Universe, and he has a very credible track record when it comes to smartphone leaks. Some of you may be aware that on a Samsung phone, the user gets a choice of 120Hz and a full HD resolution or 60Hz and according to resolution, but they cannot have both the same time or something, displays are providing screens for the Apple iPhone 12. It appears that only iPhone that can run at 120Hz and also at their full resolution, many might ask why Samsung would do this and allow for Apple, but not on their own phones. But the reason is actually simple. The hardware and the Samsung phones are capable of using 120Hz at their full resolution, with software restrictions put in place to save on battery. After choosing to allow it on the iPhone 12 and to be fair. That optimization is pretty good in iOS, so it shouldn't harm the battery life too much. Of course this is only for the Apple iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The two thing Apple Pro and his sources reported that the iPhone 12 models to be capable of recording 4K at 240 frames a second, which can create an incredibly smooth video and great for slow motion for K. It was also confirmed by Max Weinbach, who found code in iOS 14 show support for 240 FPS and 4K is looking likely that it will be on the iPhone 12 with her again. It's only going to be for the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. We also had previous news of no charger all headphones come in the packaging of the iPhone 12. This seems crazy. If anyone could pull it off would of course be Apple may upset some uses it. You have to realize it also can reduce the cost of the handset. Many customers will be buying the iPhone 12, you already have the charger wide headphones becoming less desirable as many people moving on to the PWS. Of course don't forget to subscribe to get right into it. Start with the entry level model of the Apple iPhone. 12 and this of course can be called the iPhone 12 to 5.4 inch iPhone, with an open letter supervising the display from Samsung, and it's important to note straight off the bat. The super bright and that means absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but it can be an owner display at a resolution of 2340x1080, which gives us 475 pixels per inch, and has an 8-bit color depth, what I have been rumors of models having a 120Hz display. Unfortunately, this model is 60Hz. Only it can be equipped with 4 GB of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256. Storage is made of an atom in your body, and of course, use the A14 Bionic with 5G. Support the iPhone 12 comes with a dual camera setup on the rear, and it will of course be shipping with iOS 14. For those of you that want the iPhone 12 with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 storage, can be launching at $649. If you want 4 gigs of RAM and 256 storage, by Chinese manufacturer Bo. It comes with a resolution of 2532x1170. This gives us a 460 pixels per inch and has an 8-bit color depth. We have 4 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and of course the iPhone 12. Max is powered by the A14 Bionic chip in your body. It's good 5G connectivity we get another dual camera set up on the rim. For those of you that will the 128 gig version of the iPhone 12. Max can be launching at $749, if you want the 256GB version it rises to $849 next up, with the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro has a 6.1 inch display, so it's actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, an improved display, and specs on the iPhone 12 Pro report, a 61 inch Super Retina display with promotion, and a 10 bit color depth, the displays manufactured by Samsung's, got a resolution of 2532x1170, which gives us 460 pixels per inch, and this of course, are 120 hertz display yet from 12 pro comes it comes in a stainless steel body and on the rear we get a triple camera setup along with a light sensor for the depth for the 128 gig iphone 12 pro it's launching at 999 dollars for 256 gigs it's 1099 and for those that want the 512 gig iphone 12 pro it's 1299 dollars Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch outlet display again. 
It's a Super Retina with promotion 10-bit color depth, and of course it is manufactured by Samsung got a resolution of 277.8x1284, is 458 pixels per inch, and again it's a 120Hz display. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and a choice of 128, 256 or 512 storage stainless nobody in the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course, powered by the A14 Bionic with 5G support, just like the iPhone 12 Pro get a triple camera set up on the rear, with the additional lighter sensor for those of you that want the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max it's launching at $99. Of course there's plenty more information on the Apple iPhone 12 run through it all. Now my regular viewers that you guys would have already seen this so just switch off now. If anyone you have. Make sure you subscribe to get right into it expecting to get for new iPhone 12 in the range, which can be two different iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max were expecting Apple to increase the display sizes on the most premium models, although those who want a smaller display is still going to have an option, reliable analyst Mindy Crow has advised display the large one will have a 6.1 inch. We then get a 6.1 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro, the 6.7 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Unlike last year. However, all models reportedly can be using an outlet display, and the resolution will differ across the range. The 6.1 inch iPhone 12 will likely have a lower resolution than the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro. Well there are rumors of Apple removing the notch. I really can't see this happening in typical Apple fashion was still expecting a full screen display with the notch top center. It's too early for him display camera sensors, and I can't see Apple going for a poncho. They also need a time of flight sensor on the front for the 3D face and lock, well Apple did. It's a fingerprint scanner on the iPhone X. The report of this can be coming back in the form of an in-display fingerprint scanner. There are reports suggesting that Apple also can be increasing their refresh rates on the latest displays, while most firms have stuck to 60Hz display has been changing recently, and Apple are also going to be joining this trend at this stage with more cameras. Mindy Crow has again advised that both the iPhone 12 Pro the iPhone 12 Pro Max can be adding time-of-flight cameras to the RAM for those unaware time-of-flight cameras, a 3D depth, cameras, and what Apple uses on the front for the 3D face unlock the time-of-flight sensors on the rear. However, use slightly different technology that allow it to map 3D objects from further away. This significantly improves augmented reality applications, allows for more improved portrait style photo and video effects, will likely going to see slight upgrades on the other cameras of the iPhone 12, but given the great performance and its predecessor, they will be changing things too much reports suggesting that the tumor budget models again have a dual camera setup with the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max can have a court camera setup, with the inclusion of the 3D depth camera phone 12 is of course can be powered by the new 814 Bionic processor. This is actually manufactured using 5nm lithography, which will bring significant improvements. There's a good chance that it will be the first 5nm chipset to hit the market. When it comes to necessarily large amount of memories, causing the consumer to pay for memory that they don't even need when it comes to storage, we're expecting a choice of 64, 256 or 512 gigs of internal storage for the first time ever. Consumers felt Apple did a great job in prioritizing the battery life on the predecessor, so hopefully that's something that's going to continue, with the iPhone 12 or graphene batteries are still out of the question. We can expect a 5.4-inch iPhone 12 around 2,800 million powers 6.1 inch is probably going to be around 3,156.7. It should contain around 4,300 million power battery. One thing that is a little unknown at the moment is, of course, 5G connectivity Apple are very bad when it comes to 5G, thanks to earlier issues with Qualcomm Toronto. At this stage is that something we will see in the iPhone 12 is rumor that the iPhone 12 is can have 5G connectivity. There aren't actually any leaks or reports to back that up the iPhone 12 is can be IP68 water resistant. It's of course can ship with iOS 14 when the base 5.4 inch iPhone 12 starting is $649. The iPhone 12 6.1 inch at $749, the iPhone 12 Pro 6.1 inch at $999. Finally, the iPhone 12 Pro Max 6.7 inch phone $1099, some very reasonable prices from Apple, who have clearly been focusing on keeping the cost down. Of course it's not all about specs, and we'll likely get to see some new software features or improvements to the current features in iOS 14. The iPhone 12 is set to launch in September. As always, it's always around the second week they release so we can expect to see the iPhone 12 range on either the 8th or 15th September, and the iPhone 12 will be released about 10 days. Afterwards of course being so far away. These are leaks and rumors as more information comes to light.